Siema robaki. Słuchajcie, będziemy robić review, jest po angielsku, ale zacznę Wam po polsku. To już jest otwarte, dlatego że no, review jest zrobione po angielsku, ale zrobimy dzisiaj też no, taki wstęp po polsku. Słuchajcie, zakupiłem sobie Wiltroxa. 16 mm 1.8, wcześniej miałem 20 mm Sony 1.8, ale jak ja to zawsze mówię, te 4 mm to jest dużo i 28 na przykład 75, to taki fotografowy vlog będzie. 28, 75 nie jest wystarczająco szeroki na przykład dla wideografów czy filmowców. Jest dobry dla fotografów, natomiast dla dla wideografów nie za bardzo. Dlaczego tak jest? Do wideo my potrzebujemy szerszych ujęć. Do foto fotografii raczej wykorzystujemy bardzo takie medium i close up, czyli takie bliskie ujęcia. To są takie portretowe i bardzo często te grupówki to jest takie najszersze, co robimy. Oczywiście robimy szerokie ujęcia też w fotografii, ale no raczej tak skupiamy się w pomieszczeniach na takich close-ups, czyli takich ujęciach bardziej zbliżeniowych. Natomiast w wideo ja potrzebuję przynajmniej 4, nawet bym powiedział 8 mm więcej, a nawet ostatnio przemyślałem, bo miałem tu 20 mm i właśnie 28,75 i z, z, z Tamrona i Sonego 20 mm. Jakoś tak powiem Wam szczerze, że brakowało mi tej, tej szerszej perspektywy troszeczkę, więc Wiltrox e, wypuścił rewelacyjny wręcz lens 16 mm f1.8 i skoczyłem po prostu, sprzedałem tego Sonego 20 i skoczyłem sobie na tego Wiltroxa 16. Zawsze mogę też użyć e, APS-C mode. A jakoś jest nadal, wiecie, rewelacyjna wręcz, bo APS-C Resolution po prostu pokrywa jakość 4K bez żadnego problemu. I powiem Wam szczerze tak, że build quality, no będziecie oglądać, więc nie będę się za bardzo powtarzał, a natomiast build quality jest naprawdę rewelacyjne. Także jeśli ktoś robi, chce vlogować, bo to też będzie taki dobry obiektyw do vlogowania, chociaż jeszcze bym poszedł szerzej, szczerze Wam powiem, ale to będziecie oglądać właśnie w tym review angielskim za chwilę. Jeszcze bym poszedł szerzej z tym obiektywem nawet do 14 gdzieś mm, ale 16 jest naprawdę na full frame, jest rewelacyjna. Co prawda muszę wyciągnąć tą rękę, ale jest, jest bardzo dobrze. Obiektyw jest ciężki, jest bardzo dobrze zbudowany. Jestem pod wrażeniem, no i wizualnie wygląda on po prostu też przepięknie. Uwielbiam jak coś wygląda ładnie i, i, no i po prostu czasami też kupuję, dlatego wiadomo, że musi to być performance, ale też mnie tam skłania do tego na przykład to, że coś wygląda fajnie. Ja lubię się cieszyć, jak coś ładnie wygląda, więc po prostu przyjemniej się to używa. Dlatego no 16 mm do vlogów i w ogóle do takiej pracy mojej teraz z tymi ślubami to będzie też fajny dodatek. Ma wiadomo pełno innych lensów, ale no głównie skupiam się właśnie na 28-75 Tamrona i, i czymś szerokim, czyli miałem 20 po prostu Sonego, ale mam też 12-24, ale to już jest takie Xtreme, które używam tylko w sporadycznych przypadkach, bo jednak 20 była wystarczająca, ale 16 w pewnych momentach nawet by się sprawdziła, więc i, i fajnie by się sprawdziła, dlatego po prostu przeskoczyłem sobie na jeszcze szerszy obiektyw. Jest ciężki, ale jest piękny, jest fajny i, i działa jak na razie. No, spr sprawdzimy, zrobimy następne recenzje, następne testy, ale jest rewelacyjnie zrobione. No i mamy, mamy ten kołwerek fajny. Mamy ten kołwerek fajny. Bardzo taki szeroki. Ładna, ładna, ładny lens, fajnie wygląda, e, bardzo cicho pracuje, super wyświetlacz, super build quality. Także jak szukacie czegoś do vlogowania albo do nagrywania materiału wideo, e, na pewno jest to obowiązkowa pozycja, szczególnie za tą cenę. Nic tylko brać, nie mogę powiedzieć, że nie ma nic lepszego. Dobra, to teraz będzie po angielsku, e, wrócimy się trochę w czasie. We have a delivery. We're gonna have a 
open box and a little bit like an introduction to this what I bought recently. Super cool stuff. So guys, I had before 20 mm Sony f1.8, but recently, uh, no recently, well, a few months ago, I think Wiltrox released, I may be mistaken here, but Wiltrox released the new um, lens, and this was a 60 mm 1.8. As I said before, 24, uh, 28 is not 24, 24 is not 20, so the same 20, 60 millimeter uh, it's much better than 20 millimeter. In my case, for my actual use, I very often see uh, this need uh, when I had like 20 millimeters to go a little bit wider. Of course, still I think that 20 millimeter is like a golden, like a, a switch between super wide to wide lens. So it's like 10 to 20, 20 to like 50 will be the best options. I mentioned that before in one of the videos and someone kicked my ass. But yeah, I think that 20 is like a nice, nice you know, focal length to change the lens. I don't like like ideas of 28 to 75. Overall, this super great lens, but we are lacking of this uh, white, white focal length. So <laughs> that's why when I have 28, 75, I always had with me uh, 20 millimeter Sony f1.8 but today I decided to go with with something wider and I can always use APS-C mode uh, some of you maybe are not using the APS-C mode resolution is super high uh, with APS-C mode on A7 series so we don't have to worry so but let's get into the opening the box itself and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the lens Another white, another white box in white. Everything looks beautiful. I hope you not hear my air fryer going. I'm on the protein diet. Maybe it's not a protein diet, but like a, I use a lot of protein to lose weight and gain muscles. So I'm actually making my breakfast. White space is used also as a separator for like a content when you are creating. So yeah, as you see, nice black uh, text on the white space, center it. Here everything nicely laid out. We have a, a, a logo, we have a white space here. We have a details about the um, um, a lens itself. We another have a white space over here and we have uh, um, this, this lens itself. So white space is making this really, really, uh, creating this really nice feedback with the black text. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, I can open it to not damage it. I think we can just slide this. Oh, we're just sliding this this way. Cool. Now we have to cut it. I'm gonna use this ugly one. I don't know where is my knife, so. Nice clean cut here. so enjoyable ah the smell of new products okay so what do we have here i think it's some four of cover this way you open it here and you nicely uh, well, Put it inside. Oh, yeah, so it's like a cover for build drugs lens, warranty card, uh, manual, who reads manuals, guys? Candies, don't eat this. Yeah, come on, bad boy. Ooh. That is actually very safe packaging. I think I never seen anything like it in my entire life. This is how lenses should be packed. 
okay surprisingly oh wow it's it's heavy holy it's super heavy but it's you know what it's compact i would say that size is like really how i like it i don't like anymore these huge lenses i remember i remember guys those uh photographers who were using canon like um you know the old times these big lenses and this big camera this was like horrible thing and everything was like oh, super heavy and they they have a hard time really with those big lenses right now with the small sony equipment everything is super small and compact but lens is super 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 heavy holy shit you know what this is all steel this is all steel wow okay the build quality outstanding i cannot say anything bad about the build quality besides that is super good rubbery bottoms no it's it's premium I don't care what other people are saying. So I have something that is cheaply built and the bottoms here are cheap also, but no, it's literally very well built. High end, easily I can say that is high end. Rings working perfectly. What the hell I was watching the guy was like, eh, the build quality is like average. Blah, 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 blah. Build quality is epic. Rings are working very smoothly. You have a nice resistance. Perfect. Wow, really, really nicely. Works really nice, really. We have a switch. So we have those bottoms. Uh, they are secured from uh, water getting in, I think. Very nice, working very nice. We have this nice click. Nice, easy to read text. As I say, we have a click on off. I think it's, oh yeah. So this is, uh, this off is giving you this ring, aperture ring to work smoothly. And when you switch it here to on, you have those nice steps and it's really, really gentle, but you feel every, every step. Wow it's so enjoyable guys holy sh and overall this lens i gonna not, i'm not gonna lie i bought it because it's also beautiful i like details like this i like how things look i like actually this little thing over here i like this rubbery thing that is giving you this nice premium look a little viltrox logo over here but honestly beautiful lens how it looks and feels is also model for me so it's absolutely beautiful really <laughs> let me show you the lens here and we have a f 1.8 60 millimeter image size okay so this lens is really beautiful wow I'm sorry, but I'm just, I like when something is looking nicely. We have like a matte finish. It's reflective, but it has like a sparkles inside. Beautiful lens. Okay, let's put this bad boy on. Hope you see everything, so. Ah, nice click okay holy so i bought it also for vlogging 20, 20 millimeters for vlogging is kind of enough but i think 16 uh, well i tested i have 12 to, to 24 lens so i know that like wider is better so 16 will be actually the better option i don't vlog too much uh, using camera uh, to be honest with you guys well i learned that uh, the easiest way is using phone but in some cases if i would like to use uh, you have better quality i will go just with the 60 millimeter and my a7 IV camera uh, the set it's heavy it is heavy this lens is really heavy uh, so both together 
well when I'm using like 50 mm uh, Sony lens it feels much lighter this is heavy this is heavy and bulky so let me show you how it looks together but it's still nice compact size and this is what I like about this I can hold it nicely it's good grip for my hand yeah I think it's gonna work remarkably well I'm gonna show you later on some footage I'm not gonna like do it at home because it's pointless I don't have butter even in the camera at the moment but we want to power this up because I want to see the screen itself so give me a sec give me a sec let's put butter in close it okay and we have it look at this isn't this beautiful i have no idea what is going on <laughs> <laughs> to be honest <laughs> okay so we have automatic focus so it's adjusting the distance as you see we can switch it to manual and move it here oh my god this is so cool for such a gadget i will spend extra money to buy uh, the lenses like this it's epic i want all lenses to look like this from now all lenses please beg you this is phenomenal okay as you see very small lens it's not like a super small but like in sony area it's medium but i think overall is like small small lens look how it presents itself so we have those buttons here oh out of focus really everything working nicely why did this guy who reviewed this this is what I watch uh, say that it's like cheaply built and everything is like feel cheap. It's really, really good. It's it's great actually, I would even say. Everything working stiff. Swing here. When you switch it here, we have this nice clicks. Ah, it's so enjoyable. Like really, hey guys, I'm sorry I'm saying this because no one approached to lenses like I am, but I, everything, I approached everything with, from the design perspective and feeling perspective. So here, really, I will give like 9 on a 10. It's so good. It's super heavy, but it's really, really good. Okay, then. Infinity. 1.8. So it's counting the distance, as I said before. Can you see it right now? Did you hear uh, some uh, Nissan driving like crazy? We have a plenty of like our races here next to me because guys are uh, having nice road. So they are just chasing each other. A look guys. A beautiful, beautiful lens. Love it, absolutely phenomenal. Okay, I will maybe record like a one, two shots outside right now to show you. 60 mil, how it look, how it presents the image. Then we're gonna do like a Im deeper image test somewhere outside, but for now, phenomenal. And I watch the reviews, I watch tests, uh, Plenty of people are saying that autofocus is working flawlessly, even on 1.8. Of course, it's never perfect because it's super shallow, but it is very, very close to Sony performance, if not the same. Now look at this little detail. It's so cool. I'm going to look at this all the time. <laughs> okay, then let me go outside. I just learned another lesson that every time I'm using wireless microphones and I hit stop recording, then literally uh, I have to click again this connection with the with the, um, uh, wireless go. So I have to switch it. It's not like I'm just you know start recording and it's working and it's taking the 
uh, voice from microphone. Now I have to switch it fuse and then start recording. Why is doing this way? I don't know. Okay then. So this is this is right now f 2.8 because it's super bright. I cannot go darker. But this is the view. As you see, arm is completely stretched. So it's good. As you see, I think 60 mm is a minimum focal length to feel kind of comfortable. But I would say that I will still have to stretch my uh, hand by a lot. Hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's better than 20 because 20 I literally had my whole head inside the frame. So it was super bad. Here it's really, really good. Although if I will put some kind of like, you know, bars here, uh, it's, it will not be super perfect. It still we need something wider. So 12 to 24 always was solving all my issues. So this is the first shot from 60 millimeter Vitrox one F1.8. I'm not super beautiful, I'm not a model. So do not expect they're gonna look good, but <laughs> whatever it is what it is like american and saying okay guys so that will be it like and subscribe stay with me links down below if you want to support me length beautiful length is epic actually it looks beautiful you can definitely go and buy it because price for this lens it's super low so yeah definitely if you don't have something wider in your in your arsenal 60 millimeter for this kind of price and build quality is the must have. Także tyle słuchajcie, lajkujcie, subskrybujcie i będziemy widzieć się w następnym wspaniałe lens. See ya! So that will be it guys, like and subscribe, stay with me, links down below if you want to support me to this lens and other equipment. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Lens is really cheap and worth to have it. So if you don't have anything wide, as I said, take it because it's a gem for the price, literally a gem. See ya!